Hi there, this is David, and welcome to Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. Last time we made our way to Iris Tower, and while I was here, I did some grinding. So, let me go ahead and show you what level I'm at right now. That would be level 28. So, yeah, we're really getting up there as far as levels are concerned. Huh. thought this would be like a mirror maze, like in Darm Tower, but no such luck. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, how do I move on from here? Yeah, actually I did. Oh, okay. Dark Nexus? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So that's the only clue the game really gives you as far as how to move on, which really isn't much of a clue. So I'm gonna tell you what to do. Warp back to Silver Citadel B. And if you recall, um, this was the door that we went to. It was kind of that locked door. Now we wanna go back into this area and back through all these passages and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna show all this off or on screen because uh, I think you might get confused if I kind of cut through this as far as where to go and what to do and everything. But yeah, just go through this little passage right here, and um, we need to go back to where uh, we saw Lilia, basically towards that resurrection room. Um, so yeah, it's not that much of, 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 of like an issue to get there, it's just kind of like trying to figure out all these really convoluted clues that this game gives. Like there's many times that this game just gives convoluted clues in order to figure out what to do. So, yeah. Anyway, go and turn on the switch. Okay, perfect. So now the mirror maid is, is active. Now I'm going to be cutting back to, um, back to the tower where that guy was. So see you there. Okay, I made my way back to the tower. If you somehow forgot how to get back here, whoop to Silver Citadel D and then head left to the door. Yeah, you have to backtrack this whole way. Anyway, here we have two mirrors, and what you want to do first is take the right hand mirror, and then continue on with life. Yeah, more of these freaking mages, they're such a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Um, grinding with them around was kind of obnoxious, that's why I didn't grind all the way through. There'll be a really, really good grinding area coming up really soon, actually. So yeah, again, save your grinding for those grinding areas rather than kind of grinding while you're playing. It's much easier just to do grinding as its own, like, time or, or you know, it's doing it by itself, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Okay, go on here and use the uppermost mirror to get some treasure. Yeah, these little horse head chest piece things. Um, they actually give some decent good experience, and if you want to grind here, you can, because those wizards aren't here, that's completely up to you. I will not be doing that, but again, it's something that you could do. Okay, now let's take this bottom mirror. Not that I really needed that road of medicine or anything, it was just kind of there. I figured I'd show it off, you know. Eh, might as well. In fact, we got that road of medicine at the very beginning of the game, and I've never once used it. Because magic in this game is pretty much useless. It really is. Here you want to take the left most mirror. And then just move it! Urgh! Continue on with life. Yeah, these eyeball people, guys, they're damned annoying. You do not want to grind on them. They're just the worst. Oh, they're so obnoxious. Okay. So here what I want to do is take the rightmost mirror, there we go, and then, yeah, continue. Okay, this right here is the best grinding spot I've found pretty much in the game. So what you want to do is whenever you're lined up with this wall right here, hey, you're automatically lined up to kill these. Go down. Automatically lined up to kill that one. Go over. Hey, this is amazing. Yeah, pretty much just going up and down, just like so, going through and killing these freaking enemies. You need to get a little bit more off screen for them all to, res uh, to uh, respond. 
but yeah, just kind of go in like a rectangular shape, and you will like never get hit. You will more than likely kill the enemies in one or two shots. Get away from me. Yeah, that mummy enemy over there is very obnoxious, so you kind of just want to kill him, or just ignore him. It's really the treasure chests that you want to focus on here, and um, killing them as fast as humanly possible in this rectangular shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grind up some levels here, and then I will meet you in a second. Okay, I got that taken care of. I am now at the max level 31. Not 50, but 31. Not even 30. Like, seriously? Shouldn't they have at least made it 30? It's just odd. I don't know. Anyway, let's go on over here and meet up with Bammy. Uh, yeah. Gonna be surprised if I kick your ass. Oh. Well, what's that? Are you gonna reveal your entire evil plan to me? Oh. So I don't even have to gather the masks in this game? Wow. The complete and utter laziness of this game is just astounding to me. Oh. Oh, really? Huh. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Oh, really? Huh. You don't say. Um, yeah, sure. I'll be your pet. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Of course I will. Oh, at least I get to be adorable. I love being adorable. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Well, can I come back? Will you change me back now? No, you're kind of screwed. If you do this, you can either, number one, reset your game, or, number two, go back to Lance Village and talk to Keith. He was the guy who could kind of transform back and forth between human and demon, and he will transform you back, but... I don't want to do that. That's obnoxious. So, no! I will not be your pet. Screw you. Uh-oh. Yikes. Holy crap! For boss time! And it's Bammy herself. Well, she's actually really easy. So, she has those little lightning bolts over in the corner of the room. Don't touch those. They'll deal damage to you. The fire will also deal damage to you. Try your best to avoid that. And then she's going to do this. Avoid that as well. Okay, now wait for her to stop, and then wail on her. Yeah, just keep on going back and forth, ignore the stupid lightning bolts, nobody cares, and kill her. Very, very easy. But hey, we got her. And now we get the Wing of Valor. Not to be confused with the wing that we already have, but sure, game. Sure. Whatever. Okay, so now let's move on to another teleportation maze that looks a lot more difficult than it actually is. First things first, take the leftmost teleport, go over here, and get our treasure! Very nice. Okay, so yeah, that's the best shield in the game. Go back, now take the middle teleporter, and yeah, more treasure. You could use this as a grinding spot too if you want to, but... Eh, I did all my grinding before, so I'm good. And here we get the Defensor, the best armor in the game. Nice! Okay, so let's just continue on with life through here. And, uh, yeah. That's almost it for the maze part of this, uh, area. I mean, it's really ridiculous how... Uh, it's just... It's like... Uh, uh, I don't even know how to explain how they just give you stuff on a silver platter, they don't even make you work for it. Oh, seriously? And then, like, it's just, it's just laziness. Like, seriously? I don't know. <laughs> they spread out the sword and the shields better as far as, you know, waiting to get to each one. Um, but here they just give you Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. It's not like you get the shield, like, halfway through the dungeon, and then the sword, and then, like, you know, and then, like, later on you get the armor. No, it's like, one screen, two screen, three screen. Boom, done. The end. It's just kind of ridiculous. Okay. So, let's see. In here, I want to go ahead and do this teleporter. Perfect. And then that's it. As far as the teleportation maze is concerned, everything else is just a straight shot. 
so yeah I hope I made sense as far as why I'm just kind of upset about like the final armor in the game just kind of being like given to you on a silver platter I mean everything pretty much is given to you on a silver platter in this game except for the grinding the grinding is just insane huh here's Gazak's house let's go check it out oh you guys are both alive how did you survive this uh, yeah, how do you know about that? Oh. Oh! Rahahahili, you don't say. Oh. Island courage? No, that's something else. Oh, step into the abyss. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that would not be good at all. Oh, again! How convenient! The center of the shrine is straight beneath us. Wow. Oh, yeah, no kidding. I guess so. You can have this tea as um, basically like your inn. It will restore your HP and your MP um, if you needed to go back inside the tower and grind or whatever. Oh my god, shut up. No, go away. Okay, thank you! Yeah, I thought they would, like, never move. Anyway, let's use our, uh, Wing of Valor and fall to our doom! Whoa! Huh, some nice mode 7 effects. I like it. And here we are planted in the middle of the Golden Temple, where there are no enemies, no mazes, no treasure, no, nothing! Yeah, and this is our final dungeon too, with boss time straight ahead. But can we defeat the final boss and see the ending of the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.